Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will create something new We will create this building This building looks like this is a hadith but it's not Anyway, we will create, I will show you how you can create this is nice facade We will start from the scratch, I mean from the uh, form And we will do it right now So, let's start so basically I will show you the principles how you can create this is a really cool facade for start this project we will create the new uh, new template I mean the new project uh, by the way guys you can download my free template uh, you can find it below this video or check the previous video uh, which uh, they have already this link anyway you can use the just uh, simple one architecture template if you want or you can use uh, the my template which uh, you have already just check the link below this video so I will use the standard one there are nothing special for using the um, some template and we will create it here so here we are, uh, and first what I'm gonna do, I should create the mass form. So let's go to the massing inside, let's uh, switch on the show mass, and we need to create mass in place. Let's create the mass in place, and let's call the like building one. Sorry, this Russian, I'll use the English one, so, oh my god, like this, why not? So okay, now we are on the messing so let's uh, have a look uh, what we have here so let's try to do the something same uh, not copy I mean something same why we should copy we don't have any reason for that okay the form it's like a cube and uh, just a cube with um, um, offset edges you can see this offset a bit and you can you can have a look the other ones uh, it's really pre pretty simple, but really interesting the building. So, okay, uh, I will try to make something like that or something like that, doesn't matter. I'll show you just only principles. I will use a uh, rectangular and let's create the rectangular one. Let's say it will be like uh, 8 meters by 10 meters, why not? And let's create the form from that one. Let's create the form and now I want to switch uh, to 3D. Uh, let's go to 3D and we will see what's going on here. Okay, everything awesome. Let's extrude it. Okay, I need like 15 meters or oh, 25 meters. Let's do 25 meters, why not? So this is our building. Mm, okay, and we should create some edges. First, I want to use uh, this, uh, this face, face and I will just, uh, as I said, offset it. I mean, just shift it. As you can see, we get already uh, this type, but here we have the some, uh, it's like some cut, some cut, right? And here, let's do it here too. So now we should create some cut off. Uh, we should cut our planes. For that one, uh, because I want to create it so right, I will go to the, um, I need some lines reference line let's create the reference line okay here the reference line uh, the name it's okay let's go to 3d here my reference line uh, now I need the just line and let's set position that that position we will go to the right side and now we will create some cut off like this like this and like this why not uh, now select your shape and say this is void form let's go again to 3d and let's choose this face and we'll do like this now you cannot see anything because we should join it uh, let's do it this one oh not join cut i mean done done okay awesome right we get already this uh, slope you can see this we have here the slope and let's create here the slope too and you will understand how you can create the slopes uh, okay we, i will use the same uh, reference line reference line it's uh, support us to create uh, this shape uh, i mean the flat as you can see i'm creating the flat one okay and now i will select this line and i'll say again create the form Let's extrude it again like this and let's use the cut again. This from this. 
So you get the point, you know how to create. Uh, now we will uh, switch how to create uh, this kind of nice uh, windows. Because maybe you think this is wall. No, it's not wall. This is curtain wall. So uh, let's switch. Uh, let's say this our model is finished. So this is our mm, mess form. It's already finished. And we will apply some, oh, sorry, just double click. Uh, and we will apply some walls uh, to the this mess form. Let's apply some walls here, here, here. Okay, awesome. And we will live like that. And maybe here this will, will be wall. And for that one, we will create the roof. Place our roof. Create the roof. Okay. It's not about uh, now something beauty because uh, we should arrange everything that, um, but it's not about it now. So let's switch off the our mess, and now we need to uh, go to the, for example, uh, level. Um, but now we will have the problem. Uh, so we get you create your shape as you see, but we want to create this really kind of nice uh, the um, curtain walls. So in this case. You can do it, so it's not a problem. Uh, what I mean, uh, we can choose the storefront and you can place it like this. You can do it. Uh, you can change uh, the profile. Uh, this is possible. So remove the constraint, remove constraint, and here we will remove it, and one more here. And let's say OK. So as you see, we created, and this is really cool. You can do it, but on this side, on this slope, you cannot do it. Uh, we should create the geometry. We should create a geometry like uh, you can see here, and like this, a bit extruded. So let's go back and let's create the geometry uh, of uh, for the, our storefront. For that one, I will uh, select all the walls and roof. And curtain panels. <laughs> Let's say OK, and I will hide it. Hide element. OK, now as you can see only my mess. Let's edit in place. And let's uh, go to the front view, and now we will create, uh, create the form, uh, for example, like this. OK, uh, so uh, I will use this face. Uh, so set this face, and let's create this form. So it's something like this. As I said, it's not a copy of that project. It just, it just something near, like this and like this. Let's tr here. It looks like I think, yeah, it looks like same. Okay, uh, now I will select this shape. Now you can see in three D. Let's extrude it and let's extrude it a bit because we have here the a bit extrusion. You can see this is only frame actually. Uh, and let's extrude by 250 millimeters because this is pretty enough. Done. So this is one shape as you see. If I will say yes, we finish with the mess. Uh, now we possible, for example, um, let's go to the mess. Let's go to the uh, wall and let's place wall again. Now I will get the problem because I already have the walls. Anyway, so you place your, your wall. Now we will go here and let's go to edit profile because we should edit our profile like this. Let's say OK. And as you see, we get our uh, our shape. But this wall I should change to the other one. For example, this interior, why not? And here I should use, for example, curtain wall or in this case I can use just a wall. But we will use curtain wall, why not? Really cool, right? Uh, I, di I didn't do anything yet, but uh, anyway, you already can see uh, what's going on here. Because I don't have, for example, any uh, mullions. Let's use, for example, this is circle one. I want a re rectangular. And let's I copy everywhere it like this. And one more. Let's say, okay, now we'll get our, uh, our curtain um, our mullions. So, and if you will check, we have here different panels. For example, we have one panel here, here we don't have anything. This is really also the simple. So let's choose your panel, 
just unpin it so this is already unpin and let's uh, make it empty and let's do the same thing here here the empty and we should delete this mullion how we can do that just unpin delete done if i will go to the for example shaded one you can see this is a hole and here for example you can see here we have solid one you will change to solid one let's change this pole panel to the solid and let's change this panel also to the solid and let's check again so we don't have here the any mullions let's choose this mullions unpin delete let's choose this mullion unpin delete for example here i have the uh something like cut line i also can delete this cut line and here now you have the solid now you can see this is really so flexible object you can do whatever you want really whatever you can create your own uh mullions you can create your own panel by the way check my template they already have some mullions they already have some panels you need to create it uh, if you know on some special you can use uh, what uh, what already have in this template so now you understand how creates this panel i hope you understand if you not i will create one more lesson and i will show you the process from the scratch to the uh, to the final stage so now in this case we will see this case and this uh, lesson i think will cover everything about this building as you know in Revit you have for the thousand ways how you can create the same object I mean the same type of the object uh, in Revit. Uh, for example, you can see here we have the like continuous thing and here on the angle here on the flat roof, flat, flat floor, floor, <laughs> I mean uh, a wall. Uh, let's select everything what we have now and I will hide it again. I will hide it. So let's go mass, uh, let's change our mass and we will create it here. Let's go to the front view. I will choose for example line now and make sure you drawing on face so what this means if I start draw on this face uh, then my object will locate on this face if this one it will be on the angle so let's create for example the some form maybe something like this really interesting okay and now you cannot continue because we will draw on the same face just escape and let's continue here just make sure you are doing everything right like this like this and like this and let's close it now you have the one line let's create the form let's make it 250 only and we have the second line but it's not the closed one let's close this line like this and let's create also the form Wait, so uh, cannot see. Aha, uh -huh, it's here. 250 only. Okay, and as you see, we have here the ga gap now, right? So uh, let's use the command align and let's align it this dot to this dot. And same here, this dot to this dot. Actually, done. Now we should only join these two shapes and it will be one. Let's join. You can see this now one shape let's say okay so what you're gonna do now next you already understand we will go to the messing we will use the curtain wall i don't want to save now and let's choose two of that one let's create the system Ta -ta! if we'll check this is what we want now i think you understand how you can create this shape if you want more about this building for example or about this technique please leave comment and likes i need only two things guys i think it's not hard for you and this is uh, will make me happy uh, yes true and check also the my patreon check my the store and you will find maybe there something uh, cool stuff thank you guys and see you next time and that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.